Welcome, Universal Beings, to Goddess Business Unleashed, the podcast. My name is Sky Hanley, alignment coach and goddess business mentor. Hell yeah. I spent far too long trying to fit myself into other people's boxes of what a business should look like until I realized that I needed to align with the fully expressed version of myself. No more hiding. And I realized that there was another way. I stopped playing by other people's rules. I stopped toning myself down to make others comfortable. And I chose courage above all else to expand my own existence. Now, I am a badass spiritual entrepreneur, bringing the best of both worlds to business, strategy that is soul aligned. It's time to be wealthy as fuck. It's time to make impact and income at the same time. And it's time to create the fuck yes life you so deserve. Stop squashing yourself, gorgeous. Play full out in the radiance of your own sparkle. Goddess Business Unleash the podcast, strategy that is soul aligned. Hey, Limitless Beings. Today, we are probably talking about what I think is the most, 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 absolutely, you know, number one thing, um, number one most important thing um, when it comes to, you know, our business, our life, our relationships, all right? So pretty much everything. (laughs) And that thing is life force energy. Now, if you are new to our podcast, then please hit the, you know, follow, like, subscribe button um, so that you can stay up to date with all of the most amazing um, content that we are putting out. Uh, And, you know, if you know any other most amazing gods or goddesses out there in business um, that could utilize some of the information that we provide, you know, here, whether it's, again, business information, life information, woo-woo information, relationship information, then please, you know, share this um, podcast uh, with other most amazing badasses out there navigating their way through business and life. All right. Now let's jump into the most important thing (laughs) by far when it comes to your business business, your life, your relationships, showing up fully, you know, as your highest, you know, as the highest version of yourself. And that's life force energy. So look, what is life force energy? Well, look, and and actually, let me just say first, look, you'll hear me interchange um, the word life and light. All right. Because sometimes in my brain, they are pretty much the same thing. We are all light holders. We are light leaders. We are energy. We are frequency. So I will use the word light sometimes. And other times the word life force energy comes out because this is, you know, what we're talking about today is also what fills our cup full of life. All right. Which is also what fills our cup full of light. Does that make sense? So whichever word you want to use, I'm totally down with. Now, So what is, you know, this light or life force energy? Look, it's exactly what fills us with joy to be alive, all right? It's what fills your cup, you know? So if you think about it, it's anything that that is joy, that is fun, that is play, that is pleasure, that is passion, that is celebration, right? And sometimes, to be honest with you as well, as we're, you know, as we delve into this, we, you know, um, in our last podcast, we were talking about playing both sides and we're going to touch a little bit on, um, you know, extrovert, introvert, um, because it's an easy, you know, binary label that we can use to sort of discuss what actually may fill you personally, um, you know, with, with joy to be alive, all right? Or what might fill your cup. Because sometimes, you know, we say, you know, we say joy and fun and play and pleasure and passion. And they all sound like very, you know, epic um, action out there doing kind of words. But sometimes what fills our cup, as we will discuss, you know, is is rest, you know, is time, is, you know, is is being with other people that we love, is sometimes not being with the, with the people that we love, right? So we'll jump into all of that in a second because it's so important that you as an individual out there work out what it is that fills you with life force energy because it's not going to be the same for all of us. And, and obviously I'm going to talk about, you know, what um, what it is for me, um, so that perhaps, you know, you can, um, you know, spike some understanding, uh, you know, in your own uh, mind as and your own life as to what, it, um, you know, what could fill you personally with life force energy. So, look, it is also what makes us karma in everyday existence, you know. Um, it, you know, we're out there, like, it's so fashionable to be busy these days. Like, busy is just so fucking fashionable. And really, you know, it's not, like, it's not a badge of honor. And I know you guys have heard me say that before and you'll hear me 
say it again, busy is not a badge of honor. Grace, flow, ease, you know, alignment, all of those amazing things is what we want to strive for. And the problem is that in today's society, so often or more often than not, where, you know, we're up in the morning and you're getting kids ready and everybody's off to school and then you're coming back and then you're doing your work and then, you know, this and that and then the next thing and then you're dropping people off and then you've got to go pick stuff up and then something fucking happens and, you know, you can hear the franticness of how I'm even saying this because, you know, we're stuck in traffic and then some fucking cunt, excuse the C word there popping out, you know, cuts you off, right? And so you're like, oh my gosh, like, you know, screw that guy, right? And so you can hear like we're just always perpetually in this state of, of, you know, of, of fight and flight, right? It is not good for our nervous system, you know, and you might think that you work really well under pressure and that may be so, I, I, you know, I think that of myself too, I suppose, or I, I, I don't know, I just work with a lot of intentional action always, right? Um, you know, and anything that is pressure is probably just self, um, you know, self-motivation and drive, you know, but we have to take our foot off the pedal sometimes too, you know, it is so important play both sides you know we were talking about this last um, episode so look light force energy is also what makes you feel full all right it reboots you it rejuvenates you you feel reborn and all of those things are so important again so that we can turn up in everyday life as the highest version of ourselves it's also what allows you to come, you know, from a fully focused place of servitude. Again, if we're coming from a place of fight and flight and survival mode and busyness and the hustle and the getting shit done mode and all those kinds of things, you know, can we turn up, you know, for the people that we love the most, which also includes our clients more often than not as well, right? Like we often love our clients, like we feel their successes as if they are our own and we feel, you know, when they're struggling and all those different things. If you are in a service based industry, then you know this to be true, right? Um, and so, yeah, we want to feel fully focused and present, you know, and sometimes if you've got a hundred different, it's like, I was joking the other day, actually, that, you know, I was like, I, you know, I, I am that meme that has a hundred tabs open on my computer screen. Cause I have about, you know, not quite a hundred, but you know, there's a good 10 to 15 tabs open on my computer screen right now, you know, and imagine if that's my brain, right. Trying to balance that many different things, you know, all these fucking tabs are open in my brain all the time. Oh my gosh. Can I, does that mean that I'm going to turn up, you know, from a place of servitude for my tribe in the best possible state? If I'm not, you know, highly valuing my own vibe, my state, my frequency, right? Like it's so important. It's also, as I said, you know, like life force energy is play and it's fun. And I find in business and, you know, again, this, this might just be me projecting over here, but I really, you know, I know it's not right. Like that I forget to sometimes have play and fun. You know, I sometimes have to, you know, remember to introduce that if I'm having a bit of a, a week that is more strategic, you know, and there's lots of different boxes I need to tick. You know, I'm also very lucky that, you know, with what I do in, in you know, in my business, in my existence, that this is play for me. This is fun. I love this. This fills me with joy to be able to bring you most amazing information that could possibly change your life or the way that you're showing up in your life or your business, right? But we have to balance it out. You know, we can't be all go all the time, all presenter mode, all servitude, you know? Um, so we have to find other ways to defrag too. And, and I definitely do that in my own existence because sometimes, you know, it's really nice to not think, you know, I'm a big thinker, you know, not necessarily an overthinker. Like I'm not overthinking or stressing, but I'm always, you know, I'm a, I'm a creator. I'm a visionary. I'm a, you know, I'm expansive. I'm all of these things. And sometimes I just need to not, you know, just not think, right? What does that look like? And we'll talk about some of that. Light force energy is also flow state and it helps us be in a better state of flow as well as helps us come from our place of genius. We can't be in servitude of others showing up as the highest version of ourselves if we are stressed out, burnt out and totally overwhelmed, you know, in the, in the exhaustion of our own existence. So light force energy is the imperative, the most, 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 most imperative thing, you know, for you to be able to business, for you to be able to life, you know, for you to be able to relationship as your highest self. And that is why it is so, so, so important. 
So what I want to ask you is what frequency are you showing up, you know, um, showing up for business in, you know, what frequency are you doing business from right now? Are you doing it from a state of hustle, from a state of busyness, you know, maybe from a state of necessity, you know, requiring money and scarcity? Like, are you showing up for business from that place? You know, there's an amazing statistic that says when we're in fight and flight, where, you know, we lose 40% um, of our clarity of thinking. And I believe we were discussing this in one of the other um, episodes as well. But let me remind you that, right? 40%. You know, if we are stressed out, burnt out, overwhelmed, you know, let, let's add some percentages on top of that. We can't function in a daily life from a most amazing place, high vibration, high frequency, high service, you know, if we are stressed out, burnt out, overwhelmed, right? And, and if we're in fight and flight and scarcity and all those different modes and to not be in, you know, the antidote for, for scarcity is abundance, right? You know, the antidote for anxiety is calm, you know, it's gratitude. And so we need to, you know, it, it's fun, it's joy, it's play, it's passion. You know, we have to introduce like very much actively so these things into our lives. Now, let me sidetrack before we can continue. I can give you two examples of this in my own life, my own business. You know, my partner and I, we used to live in a, um, in a, in a unit um, and that was amazing. You know, I was kind of building my business from the, from the kitchen table. I think we've all kind of been there and done that. Maybe that's you now. Um, and, you know, and, and I, it was very easy for me to work, to be in worker mode, right? Because I love what I do. I'm super passionate about it. I'm really driven, but my my boundaries and my, you know, ability for life force energy um, and even fun, joy, play, right? Um, like my my capacity to be able to introduce introduce those into my daily existence, uh, like I just kind of wouldn't, you know. If there was a moment that I could be doing something chill or fun, versus if I could be in mission mode doing something for my business, trust me, I would have picked business every fucking time. You know, and when you're working from home, you know, and your your business is there, it's with you, it's everywhere, it's the it's the staircase, it's the bed, it's your phone, it's sitting down watching TV, you know, it's it's everything, right? Like it's so easy to to you know um, to venture into you know business brain, and so like one of the things that we did, cause I sort of thought, gosh, I can't be trusted. You know, I know I need to introduce more fun, more joy, more play, more pleasure, more passion into my life. And I need to get my face out of a computer all the time. Right. And so one of the things I did, because as I said, I sort of went, look, I can't trust myself. I will pick, you know, at that time I knew that my choice would have been, you know, perhaps the hustle, right. I'd be like, yes, business mode, business mode, of course, driven, driven, driven. And so one of the things we did, we implemented was simply um, going back to play soccer, Right. So I love soccer. It's just, sorry. It's funny that, you know, this, this episode, I drop the C word. Normally only soccer is the only time that I drop the C word sometimes. Oh my goodness. You know, um, I must be very passionate today. If the C word has come out the same level of passion, you know, I feel for, um, for soccer and, you know, being out there, um, on the, on the, um, the field and, and, you know, playing with friends and it's amazing. And it was me forcing myself to have to show up to fun, joy, play, pleasure, all of those things, because there is no way that I would not turn up for my team who was expecting me to be there. I implemented that many, many years ago. And to this very day, you know, where I still make sure that every Thursday night, you know, is soccer night for me because I love it. It's fun, you know, um, and it's face out of a computer. One of the other things we did when we moved from the unit and, we, and, you know, we ended up getting puppies and what a joy puppies are. Oh my gosh, you know, talk about life force energy right there, you know, to be able to play with a puppy throughout the day or, you know, they're very cute and I have squishy pug dogs. So they're really, you know, they're funny little fatties and, and I love them. And one of the reasons, you know, that we also kind of got them, you know, a little sidestep reason or, or a little happy accident from it was that I also knew that we would have to walk them. You know, you have to walk them like every day, you know, or at the very least every couple of days. And so that also meant that my partner and I got our faces out of our computers. We got outside, we were in nature, we're grounding with our feet in the sand, walking along the beach, feeling the waves lapping against me. It is literally one of my, you know, most joyous life force energy moments. And I get to do that almost daily, right? 
And so that was such a happy accident that it was kind of like, okay, we have puppies now, responsibility, you know, responsibility to myself and to joy and to, you know, get out there and to pull myself away and to realign and to ground. So sometimes if you can't be trusted, <laughs> right, like me, you know, initially, um, it's really important that you put, you know, you put, uh, it's almost like strategic actions in place to ensure that you are looking after your life force energy. All right. Because life force energy comes as number one. All right. No more busy slave codes, no more excuses, no scarcity, no hustle. All right. You want to create and serve from a place of choice, from a place of freedom. So my question for you today is what fills you up? what fills you with life force energy. And now I said we were going to talk about this idea of playing both sides, right? So we're playing a little bit in, you know, like that realm of introvert, extrovert. Uh, and when we spoke about, um, uh, you know, playing both sides before, I literally was saying, look, if you're an introvert, you know, maybe lean into being more extroverted. If you're an extrovert, maybe lean into being more introverted. All right. Because there is going to be some magic um, when you are, you know, leaning into the edges of, of what you normally find comfortable. However, all right. There's always exceptions, isn't there? Damn it. All right. When we're talking about life force energy, it really is about leaning in and being more you. All right. So if you are an introvert, then, you know, the ways in which that you are going to fill your cup is very different to how an extrovert is going to fill their cup. And again, this is just really easy binary, binary, bi binary. I can't even say the word anymore. Labels, right? For um, for us to sort of move with. But let me tell you, you know, look, I'm an extroverted person, and I'm obviously very all go all the time. So to be honest with you, some of the ways that I do fill myself with life force energy is to lean into, you know, the introvert me. You know, to do things like puppy walks along the beach, in silence, in nature. My phone stays in the car. We are not allowed to talk work stuff, you know, because otherwise it's just another, you know, frantic discussion about all of the things that are going on. And that's not what I want when I'm out there, you know, in nature and, and in bliss, right? Filling my cup. So if you're an extrovert, right, some of the ways perhaps that you might like to fill your cup if you are leaning into being more you, and again, you'll know which of these lists, um, uh, you know, or even just which of these dot points basically, um, you know, uh, align with you. All right. Because remember, we're all individuals. We don't have to go with these particular labels. It's just to give you an idea, you know, to perhaps run with, um, you know, di different things that you can try and implement. It's not about doing one thing and then going, oh, well, that didn't work or I didn't like that or I did it that one time. Right. It's funny, you know, you guys know that I worked in fitness for a long time. It's like somebody dieting and saying, you know, I ate that piece of lettuce that one time. Now I'm healthy. It's not how it works, you know. It's it's the continuation. It's the the doing of the action, or perhaps the not doing, depending on who you are. So, you know, maybe more extroverted people, you know, um, perhaps what fills you, you know, what fills your cup, what fills you with life force energy is being with other people you know, hanging out, feeling alive, interaction and connection, laughter, excitement, you know, mixing things up, doing activities, perhaps dancing or listening to um, music, moving your body, exercise classes, things like that, right? Because it is, it's kind of that, you know, outward expression of, of, of feeling of, um, you know, of shaking things up, of feeling amazing, of, you know, of laughing, of talking to people, you know, I, I know one of my favorite things to do, I, I, call them my cho poor choices friends, bless them. You know, a couple of my best friends, you know, we love sitting there and having a great laugh together and defragging. And yes, there's probably a margarita involved in that as well, right? You know, that's one of my favorite things to do to see them lit up while I'm lit up also. And, you know, to catch up, defrag, you know, have those hilarious conversations, complain a little bit too, you know, to get things off our chest, because if it's out of my mind, it's, you know, out of my body, which feels amazing as well right? Or it's out of my mouth, you know, it's out of my body, out of my mind. Alrighty. So some of those kinds of things feel into that, you know, what lights you up? What do you love to do? You, again, soccer for me, you know, getting out there, moving my body, you know, being responsible um, as part of a team, you know, is super important. Um, you know, and again, I also have calming practices too, right? You know, laying in bed and just reading a book or, you know, going for puppy walks every afternoon, you know, at the end of the day so that I can, you know, bring my nervous system back down. Super important to me, 
right? And maybe if you're more introverted, you know, and again, like it can work both ways, right? Like, you know, maybe lean into the edges, play both sides, you know, feel into whichever of these, um, you know, uh, suggestions kind of make sense. And you're like, yes, I love doing that. But maybe if you're a bit more introverted, maybe you love cooking, maybe you love time alone, quietness, chill, calm, reading a book, right? No conversations, you know, not being around other people, meditating, walks on the beach, taking long showers or baths, or perhaps, you know, having your headphones in, you know, if you're going to exercise or something like that. So you can just kind of zone out. All right. So have a little bit of a think now, you know, this is your invite. Like what, what is it for you? You know, what kinds of things do you love? Do you enjoy, you know, do you want to invite more of into your life in the coming, you know, weeks, months, years? All right. Fuck the hustle, you know, fuck busyness. Life force energy is actually number one. And when we say life force energy is number one, it also means that life force energy must go first. All right. And what I mean by that is that, you know, most people, when they're calendaring out their week, right, you know, the first thing they do is they put down all of their appointments and they put down all of their responsibilities. And then they maybe put in some of their exercise training and looking after themselves. You know, maybe you put in like things that, you know, um, things you've got to do for other people. And then, at the, you know, you've got study or all sorts of stuff. And then at the end of the day, you go far out. There's no time left for me, you know, to sit in life force energy, to fill your cup. And it's because we're doing it backwards, right? Life force energy, as we said, is number one. It is the number one most important thing. And what that means is that you actually put it into your calendar first. And I know some of you are sitting there sweating and struggling a little bit now and feeling a little bit uncomfortable, like, oh my God, like, what? Like, I have to put it in first. I don't have the time to do that. If you don't have the time to do that, you're exactly the person who needs to do it the most. All right. If you are sitting there saying, gosh, no, I couldn't take a Friday afternoon off every single week and factor that in where I get to go and get a massage or I can get my nails done or work at the puppy shelter because that lights me up or whatever it may be. If you are the person sitting there and saying you don't have time to do that, you are the person who needs it most. Life force energy is number one. You cannot show up for the people in your life, you know, whether it's relationships, whether it's, you know, clients, whatever it may be, you know, you can't show up as the highest version of yourself in your life, in full genius, in creation, in devotion, in servitude, in maximum energy, vibe, frequency, if you are not factoring in your life force energy first. All right. So what that means is go to your diary and, you know, block out times that are your down times where you don't take appointments, where you don't, you know, book whatever it might be, you know, uh, like learning or whatever, like um, webinars or, you know, you actually do nothing and you book that massage instead and you make this a regular practice. All right. Because again, if you're the person who's sitting there and saying, you know, like, I don't have time for this, I can't factor that in, or where am I even going to do this? You can expand time, right? And the expansion of time is a choice. And when I first started to do this myself, you know, one of the things I did was actually um, this epic challenge, you know. Uh, called 75 hard. And 75 hard says that you have to train, you know, twice a day. And so basically what I ended up doing is I thought far out, you know, 75 hard has a whole bunch of other things you need to do. It's like four liters of water. It's reading a book every single day. Um, you know, like the, the list, you know, there's probably about seven or eight things, you know, every single day you have to do. I wanted to expand time. So to expand time, you know, I had to say, right, boundaries. I'm working from midday. The morning is mine. I will do training session number one. I will have integration time. I may jump on social media for a second, but, you know, I'm not going to start work until midday, right? And then in the afternoon, I will finish at a particular time because I have training session number two, you know, and lucky, you know, me going for a walk or doing a training session also helps fill my cup. For the record, because again, I know I have a lot of, um, you know, health and fitness family, um, you know, listening into to these podcasts, right? And the same for you, you know, if you're a healer or you're a coach, all right? Um, 
then remember you having a coaching session yourself or you going and doing exercise or you, you know, having a healing practice if you were some kind of a healer, right? Yes, that will fill you. But at the same time, you have to understand, right? Like let's say you're a Reiki master and so doing, you know, a, a, a Reiki session on yourself, you know, helps fill you with life force energy. Yes, that is true, but it is also your norm. It is also your norm, right? So sometimes you are only bringing yourself back to what is perceived as a normal, even level, because those things that you are so used to due to the type of work that perhaps you're in is actually you just, you know, showing up from a normal kind of a level, right? Doing a training session. If you're a trainer, having a coaching session, you know, defragging your brain. If you're a coach, you know, having a healing session or doing meditation when you're, you know, you're, um, you know, you're a healer, um, you know, or work in woo-woo practices, right? Like, so you need to actually implement other things on top of that. It can't just be you bringing yourself back to balance. It also needs to fill you on top of that, right? So that you are fully radiating and expressing as your fully radiant self. Make sense? So look, make sure that you're putting it in first. It's like a grid, right? And you have to understand as well that your life force energy, the thing that is number one, is not for sale. And what do I mean by that? I mean, if you block out Friday afternoon so that you can go and get a massage, if Sally cancels her appointment on a Thursday and asks you if she if you've got any more time available and you sort of um and ah about whether you could, you know, give us some time on Friday afternoon, because technically Friday afternoon is clear, right? No, fuck no, it's not. All right. Your life force energy is not for sale. All right, which means when you put it in and you factor it into your schedule, then you hold that contract with yourself. You hold reverence for yourself to do what you said you were going to do, which is fill your cup so that you can turn up for Sally next week, hold your boundaries and show up from a far greater place, not only for her, but if you were to do her appointment, whatever that looks like for you in your business, right? Like we're just, it's just an example, you know, but how will you then start turning up for the people, the rest of the people in your life, your other clients, because you didn't fill your cup. And something that I used to say, you know, many years ago that is still so relevant now was that the fact that the people that I loved most would always get the worst of me. The people that I loved most would always get the worst of me because I was so tired and so exhausted and burnt out. And my brain was on go all the time and the craziness and all the different things, right? So you have to understand your life force energy is not for sale. And once you start breaking those contracts with yourself then bending and contorting to other people's version of what your life should look like or or their needs and requirements, and look, we can still have a heart and bend, you know, a little sometimes, right? But life force energy time that you are factoring in on a daily, weekly, whatever basis is not for sale. That is the most important thing that I can tell you today. All right. So you want to make sure that you are elevating the frequency in which you are, you know, that you are moving through life, you are moving through your relationships, you are moving through business from, all right, life force, energy, frequency, abundance, play, joy, you know, pleasure, passion. We want to introduce more of these things into our lives, celebration, evolution, integration, all right? And then you look at things like maintaining client promises, and then you look at things like finishing, you know, projects or starting new projects, but life force energy is number one and it is not for sale. All right. So look, that is our most amazing podcast for today. I hope that that has left you with lots to ponder. You know, I really look forward to, you know, hearing about, um, you know, what it is that you've chosen for yourself. And remember, it's not just something you do one time for an hour on a Sunday night, you know, through the week and the rest of time you are in hustle. Okay. You are a light leader. So it is your job to show your tribe how it's done. All right. This is one of the greatest gifts that you could give to yourself and your tribe is reverence for your own life force, is saying that, you know what, I get to come first so that I can then show up for the people in my existence, radiating at my highest, not giving them the worst of me, all right? 
Thank you, amazing universal being, for listening to this podcast today. I trust that you received the gold you needed to hear right now to help move you forward in business and in life. Remember, everything is a mirror and you either live in a chaotic universe or an abundant one. The choice is actually yours. If you have loved this podcast, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then share this magic transmission with a friend or loved one, another goddess who is in business and in need of a dose of strategy that is soul aligned. Now, if you want to continue the conversation, there are actually a few places you can go. Head over to our YouTube channel, Business Unleashed, and hit subscribe. Befriend me on Facebook, Sky Hanley. I love making new friends, so please reach out. And we have an amazing and impactful Facebook community group called Soul Empire Unleashed for all things woo-woo and business. Goddess Business Unleashed, the podcast. Strategy that is soul aligned.